Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I am going to be covering the support we are bouncing off of right now and the next resistance to be aware of. I know there is going to be a lot of emotions flying around the market today. This will be a lot of greed from trying to buy the low, a lot of fear from the people that missed out shorting the high and everything in between really. There's going to be a lot of different emotions flowing around and my objective with this video is to give some insights into how I am trading this right now, how I have been trading this, and what I am looking for for my next trade. So even if I can help out only a few people with this, that will be mission complete. Um, I just really hope that I can offer you some value and knowledge inside of today's video. So without further said or do, let's begin. So to begin, I want to remind you what we were going over in yesterday's video, and that was obviously the range that we had. Well, we had a range high, okay, which was marked out. We had our range low, which was also marked out. We're saying if we break the range high, we're looking towards $19,500 was our next level. And funnily enough, we topped out at $19,500 exactly. And that is where there was a sell wall. So 19,500, this is obviously what we're referring to Coinbase, the spot, you know, the biggest spot exchange. There was a massive sell wall of thousands of Bitcoin at 19,500. I will refer you to the, the, the Coinbase chart. As you can see here, the high was 19,500. You were unable to breach the sell wall, essentially. And from that, what it forms is from being unable to breach the sell wall, you form a swing failure pattern. So if we just add on this, we can see what's what is this pattern it's a swing failure where we come up above the last high we close back down below that is a bearish swing failure pattern and uh, a few things to bear in mind we were at 19,400 which for myself anyway was high term time frame resistance and then you form a swing failure pattern onto high term time frame resistance naturally it's a little bit more bearish you could imagine um, but you know, I'm not going to say that we thought this was going to be waking up the next day to $16,000. That's not the case, but it was enough to take it down to the low of your range. As you can see, you come down to the low of the range. You got a bit of a bounce, which lasted a few hours, but obviously price comes down below the range once more. So like here, you fake out the higher the range here. You actually fake out the lower the range, which ends in a reversal. I'd like to cover a little bit of the market structure that you had going into this. The first thing to bear in mind was the swing failure pattern, the sell wall, and then you just continuously make these lower highs and lower lows. Okay, this is obviously still a lower high. This is a lower low. This could be a lower high put in here. So the market structure here internally is bearish, and it has been for almost the past 24 hours now. So that's something to bear in mind when you might be thinking to yourself, how aggressive do you want to be on long positions? So I've given you a bit of insights as to why this rejected. I, I think primarily we can say it was the sell wall there. There was a sell wall evident and it was of thousands of thousands of Bitcoin. So price unable to break through, swing failure pattern, bears kind of take over. That's my view of, of, of this. And now we bring ourselves to where we are now. So where are we bouncing from? What we're going to do here is we're going to zoom out and we're going to look to ourselves from the last pivot low. And we can see this was the last pivot low that brought us up to the high. We're going to pull a Fibonacci. We take our Fibonacci retracement from the low to that high. So really simply pivot low, to pivot high of this last uptrend. What do we generally say in an uptrend? The CC is good support. We have come down and bounced off of it to the exact dollar. Uh, actually within seven dollars but from that low of the 618 this is the 618 fibonacci we have got an increase of price of 835 dollars bounce as it stands so i think it's very clear as of speaking now that we are finding support off of the 618 and this is a high term time frame level that naturally bears uh, sorry well bears are going to be taking profits here you if you shorted the highs then that's a take profit or if you are in a position or you're out of position you're looking to long naturally people are going to be intrigued to long around this level it's, it's an area of value uh, 
um, for yourselves. So what you could be saying here is, okay, we've bounced off of the 618. What, what I might want to see is a bit of a, possibly you might want to see a bit of a market structure change. Uh, obviously, as, as highlighted, we are making lower highs and lower lows. But there's obviously a scalp trade. If you want to scalp, I, I did not scalp this long, by the way. So, I'll, you know, I'd be transparent. I did not scalp this long. Um, you know, I'm playing it a bit more safer, I suppose. And there was obviously value there for people that managed to get in on that move. And what you might be saying to yourself now is, okay, I want to see a market structure change. I want to see some resistance claimed as support. Or, you know, I just want to get really aggressive and long on this. There's, there's, there's lots of different ways that you could trade this. And this is this is a decision you have to make. I'm not here to tell you how to trade this in this video. I'm just giving you some ideas, really. I think that you've come into resistance. Resist, like, you know, an area of consolidation into support. You've come into the CT. And you have to you have to think to yourself, is this the low? You know, is this the low right now? I think if we look at it from probabilities, the probabilities, I, I would say at the moment, we could say it's, it's it's not in your favor that the low's in. Why is that? Very simply, we can look at this in terms of here's the areas of support, 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 support. We're only just now testing support as resistance. So in terms of a probability outcome we can say it's, it's not likely that the low is in and we can still make our move down maybe for a higher low and then we change the trend okay we put in a higher low and then change or alternatively we come down for another lower low if we you know again if we do this and we reclaim this level and we start to reclaim support old support no longer resistance and it's flipped back into support well the probabilities greatly increase so i think you have to view this from the way that I try and view my trades is what's the most probable? What's the most likely? You know, anything can happen in trading. You know, price could go to $9,000 or price could go to $90,000. But we have to say, what's the most likely in this scenario? What's the most probable at the moment? And, and in, in, in my opinion, and the way that I'm trading this, and you're, you're here for my insights, I personally am not going to long until i see that step of confirmation yes i miss out on the you know i miss out on a five percent move from the downside but i've protected my capital i am i've i'm in personally i'm in shorts from higher up at the moment and i feel no need to get so aggressive onto this i said especially now you know just think of this on the five minute chart i would literally be buying into resistance so it, it's it's a senseless trade in my opinion um you know, obviously the people that bought the 618, they're going to be very happy. And I still imagine they're taking profits right now, but they could have caught a low. Could have. That's that's the big takeaway. They could have because there's no real step of added probabilities as we have thus far. So that's kind of what I'm doing in terms of, well, let me just mute Discord a second. That's what I am looking at in terms of what I'd be looking at for further upside. I, I would want to see a bit of confirmation and i think your next level above you then is, is eighteen thousand dollars okay so you really eighteen thousand dollars is a very key level for myself um if we are unable to claim this and we do move down further well i i am looking for <clears throat> lower levels and you can see kind of where i have some alerts fifteen thousand five hundred dollars an area of interest for myself and then around fourteen thousand and around eleven thousand then maybe nine thousand you know areas of interest on the way down and, and i'm not saying we're going to get here in one day um you know i'm not even saying we're going to get down there i'm just saying there are areas of interest for myself if we cannot reclaim resistance as support if we can claim resistance as support i'm not going to be looking for those lower levels you know i'm trading it level to level and I, I feel it's a sensible way of trading i understand the level that we're bouncing off of and the support we're at um but um you know there's just that added level, you know, just added step of confirmation that I would like to see to go long. And I'm, I'm, I'm happy to just wait for that, to be honest with you. Um, I would like to give you a few more insights into how I managed to at least protect my capital and get into some shorts yesterday. And I hope, you know, last year I would have approached this in a very different way and it would have been a very much bragging. But I'm going to try and approach this in a way that is offering you value. So I hopefully you you appreciate this. But I I saw yesterday after we put in the high, and I remember I was aware of the nineteen thousand four hundred 
high term time frame resistance and i saw the cc here line up on the point of control and i'm saying to myself okay i like this uh, i'm saying i'll remain patient for the drop i have orders waiting for the drop and <clears throat> what i kind of do is then start to expand upon this i start to see okay there's actually real potential here that i can have a really nice short position and so i take sculpt shorts again sculpts can turn into swings but what i want to remind you of and this was this was factored into my decision when we look at the, the youtube site kind of things you know you cannot trade off of it but it is kind of funny that today i've had a record amount of people telling me they have bought bitcoin and they watched videos on youtube of how bitcoin is going to all-time highs so please remember over the past few days especially every video you've seen is some sort of urgent watch this video now urgent 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 massive news bitcoin to three hundred thousand uh, dollars you know everything <clears throat> i think is all, all about catching the headlines and everybody's you know like i'm saying everybody on youtube is calling for fifty thousand dollars myself yesterday i was calling for nine thousand dollars and again this is why we were at nineteen thousand dollars i saw the signs that at least i want to be protected right now because of the signs that there was this potential top in okay in staying patient and moving forwards i managed to get a nice short from around 19,000, and this was on every account i hold from 19,130. And I am going to attach a video to the end of this so you can see me live trading this on stream yesterday. So it was a live stream for the contenders and the champions if you're interested in these live updates. And I had an invalidation of 19,150. And as I was saying, I think um, this could go in the Hall of Fame. And it looks even better this morning. So you know, naturally, I'm, I'm short from 19,150. That's why myself, I don't feel the need to be so aggressive where we are right now. Um, like I was saying this morning, I would imagine the bulls are sweating more than the bears at the moment. And that was while we were at 18,000. We just dropped another thousand dollars from there. Uh, but hopefully I saved some champs some money too, if they are around yesterday to read my ideas and predictions of why we could be seeing a drop. Again, not necessarily I think we're going to, to 9,000, especially not today, <laughs> but um, it was just kind of an inkling that i had of okay it's it's sensible to take profits now the same one like ethereum you know yesterday i longed ethereum at 500 dollars. i sold it all that was at well we we're at 603 dollars and i was saying you know maybe i've sold too early here but we're at such a resistance i don't want to get greedy so i sold everything obviously that was a, a good decision in in the end because well if we check the ethereum chart we can just use this a chart um well, we obviously dropped all the way then from $600 all the way down to $480. So that was that was pretty nice. <laughs> um, but yeah, you obviously were getting about, we're starting to get that bounce underway. So I'm going to go and now review this price action. I need to look at it in a bit more detail. If we now start to get some nice bullish signs, I'll be more than happy to close shorts and switch into a long. Okay? This is something that I'm going to need to go and review. But we are definitely trying to get this bounce underway. We can start to see, okay, how many people are buying and selling here? What's the open interest like? What's the delta like on this move? We're not getting massive amount of people interested in buying up at this high. So this is a little bit of a worrisome, I would say. But we're making the attempt. So we, we can probably expect this to happen by, by 12 p.m. And there was one other thing that I was going to point out. And that is that, yeah, thanks. So today is Thanksgiving sorry this video is going on longer than what i imagined but you know thanksgiving today and in my words were the bulls giving their bear their bitcoin to the bears why was my thought process that thanksgiving was a day for downsides lack of liquidity primarily lack of liquidity you know every weekend we've had the downwards moves so what's today it's almost a weekend because the markets are closed so it's a perfect day to push pot price down um simply it was thanksgiving was a day for the bears to take an opportunity to push price down now bulls can obviously push it back up this is where you get a battle but uh, i truly believe that this was the primed opportunity day for this downside and we've seen it so um yeah there's some insights 
I'm going to attach a video to, to the end of this video. So stay watching for the next, I don't know, it probably lasts five minutes or so. And so you can see some real time live trading of me getting into my shorts, working out the stop loss, which was not hit. The, the stop loss was absolutely incredible. Uh, 19,150 was the invalidation, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, 19,150, which we see la, 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 here at 19,000. Oh, it's hard to find this on the lower term time frames. This is where I was shorting. Uh, I have shorts from higher as well, but we can see 19,150. The invalidation was missed by $3. And from that short, I managed to ride it down all the way to where we are here. So that was a very nice uh, short position. And I'm going to let you view this um, to hopefully offer you some insights and value of what you can expect from myself. So have a brilliant day. But um, what we had here was into the VWAP with some bearish CVD divergences. And I was short. I shorted this on every single account I have. Every single account I have, I took the short on this VWAP. And um, well, I'm very content with this, obviously. But the reason, the reason why I'm highlighting this is because I can make an informed trade. Instead of just placing a short here when price was down here and thinking to myself, well, I'm just going to place a short order here. And just hope so we'll just load this and i'll just show you instead of instead of thinking oh, i hope price bounces off of here and i hope it rejects i've said to myself right i can make an informed decision why am i confident in shorting this you know this is obviously a nice trade um why was i confident in shorting this because in the time i made an informed decision that is on this count alone that is now three thousand dollars profit in an hour you know three thousand dollars for one hour's work off of this trade from an informed decision trade there is total you know this is just a very 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 good example of how i love to trade i wait for the alert to go off and i even laid this out i will give you the example because the example was really really beautiful here you know i had the invalidation i had the invalidation oh this was this was quite funny <laughs> My plan was to long, then Daniel, then I shorted with Daniel. God help me. I was like, you are welcome. Well, I mean, what a result that has been. What's great about this was I was, um, you know, I was filling my shorts. I was happy about it. But the problem, the, the thing was I had an invalidation. I'm trying to find, yeah, this is, this is what we were, I was trading. So we were going from low to high to low. And I was trading a five second range. It was, it was amazing. And I'm saying, imagine buying 10 million into the VWAP. <laughs> What if we blow past it? And I'm saying, not if he gets liquidated first. And guess what? The people that are buying 10 million up here, probably using high leverage, what's just happened as we've pulled back, they've liquidated themselves. So even if we go up right now, even if we go up, they've been liquidated before the rise. So who won? Who won this battle? <laughs> the chart champions won the battle because that was an absolutely amazing trade. Um, where was my invalidation? 19,150. I fully filled my short. Easy invalidation, 19,150. You want to know what the high was, ladies and gentlemen? You want to know what the high was? Where my stop loss? 19,150. The high of the move, $19,147. That's working out the invalidation by $3. My invalidation was not hit by $3. That's how I can highlight to you how I absolutely love to trade. Um, and it's making informed trades. So, you know, I've, I've had the alert of the VWAP. I've then binded my time trading an initial mini range. I've then saw millions and millions of buyers going into the highs. I'm thinking, you know, it can break out. So I've got an invalidation. I've then worked out a really good stop loss, which again was missed by $3 on my trade. Price missed my invalidation with 